Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to learn and experience together. Today we are going to have our biology uh, from 1 lesson 23, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Gerald. We are going to handle the topic on uh, nutrition in plants and animals under the subtopic enzymes. Uh, we are going to have the following lesson goal, that is uh, which will guide us on our lesson, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to give five properties of enzymes. Be keen and let us follow the, uh, the lesson. The enzymes um, are organic catalysts which are protein in nature. As catalysts, they speed up or slow down the rate of chemical reactions in the body without themselves being used up. Enzymes are produced in living cells and they are of two types. We have the intracellular and we have the extracellular. We are going to look at the intracellular enzymes whereby these are enzymes which are secreted and used within the cells which produce them. For an example of the intracellular um, enzyme, we can have the respiratory enzymes. These are the enzymes which are um, concerned with the, uh, in the respiratory system. The, for the extracellular enzymes, are uh, the enzymes which are, are produced by cells but used outside the cell which produced them. For example, we have the digestive uh, system. Um, we are going now to have there are some um, there is a structure of the um, enzyme in our diagram which you can see from the screen. We have the substrate. We are by the substrate here. We are referring to the food that will be broken down. And for an enzyme, we normally have the active site of the enzyme. And um, on the right side, we are, you can see the substrate whereby we are going the substrate normally fits in the active site of the protein and as i have said the substrate is the food that is being broken down or whatever uh, substance that will be broken down um with the by the enzyme remember it should have the same size and shape as the active site of the enzyme for it to be digested we have um, there are some several um uh, uh, procedures that are used in naming of uh, enzymes. The first um, rule that is used, we have the trivial naming, whereby in this method of naming, it involves giving enzymes names based on the names of persons who discovered them. The names of such enzymes end with the suffix "-in", that is, at the end, there sh should you should include "-in". Um, for example, we have an enzyme like uh, enzyme pepsin, whereby you can see at the end we have IN, we have enzyme renin, at the end we have uh, IN, we have enzyme tylin. Some of these names have been retained to date. That is um, about the trivial naming. Our second naming of enzymes, we are going to use suffix ASE at the end of every um, enzyme. Whereby, this is the modern method of naming enzymes. Remember, the trivia was used um, at, um, at a very old days, though we have said some of the names have uh, been retained up to date, but now we have um, uh, the modern uh, naming of enzy enzymes, whereby we are going to use the suffix ASE. Um, it is added, normally this suffix ASE is um, added to the food substrate. For example, we can have a food substrate like the carbohydrates. So the um, enzyme will be carbohydrates. Uh, for example, a food substrate like protein, we are going to add uh, and the suffix AS at the end of the protein, which will be protease. And uh, another example, you can have the lipids, um, whereby we are going to have uh, lipids, or we have something like um, maltose, whereby we have a uh, uh, maltase. So we have said in the, um, uh, uh, in the naming of enzyme using the suffix AS, which is a modern method, you normally add ASE at the end of the food substrate. Uh, hmm. Having said that, we are going to look at several properties of enzymes. And remember, enzymes are proteins, and we have discussed um, proteins in our previous uh, lesson. So if you have not um, come across it, ensure that... Um, you look at our channels then at least you will be able to get um, the notes on uh, proteins so now we are going to look at um, properties of proteins whereby the first property of proteins is they are affected by changes in ph and temperature i've said that um, um, enzymes are proteins 
and we, we say that um, proteins they are affected or they are denatured by higher temperatures which are above 40 degrees that is they are denatured the second uh, property of enzymes they are substrate specific uh, being substrate specific uh, as we had said earlier on we say that the substrate is the food that is being digested so for example if it is an enzyme that digest normally digest um, proteins it cannot digest something like uh, carbohydrates that is it is substrate specific we cannot use uh, carbohydrates to um, digest uh, pro uh, proteins so that is if an enzyme is uh, required to uh, digest proteins it will not all of um, normally be used to digest only proteins but not any other food substrate our third property of uh, the proteins is that uh, they are required in small amounts this is because um, the proteins they are substrate specific so them being um, they are they are very efficient the enzymes are very efficient so they only required in small amounts because they can be you know for the property you can see they, are, they can be reused so once they are once a pro, uh, once a food substrate like the protein has been um, has been um, digested they can be reused again when you'll eat other proteins so the same same uh, proteins can be used then we have our fifth property wow, like uh, whereby we have the enzyme catalytic reactions there they are reversible so um they are reversible reactions those are the five uh, properties of enzymes for further reference on our, our lesson you can refer to klb secondary biology students book one which is the fourth edition nairobi kenya literature bureau and uh, for you to access more of this lesson and many more in biology you can send us an sms you, uh, through the number that is appearing on your screen or through our youtube channel which is elimu tv or you send us a message uh, tweet, uh, on our facebook page or you tweet us at elimu tv underscore kenya thank you for watching and keep subscribing for more lessons thank you